Thank you for your company here on AM Agenda. I'm joined now by the Greens Deputy Leader and Acting Leader of the Greens, Adam Bant. He joins us from Melbourne. Thanks very much for your time today. Good morning. I want to start with the metadata story. The Greens have raised serious privacy concerns about this in the past and continue to, to raise these concerns. Companies like Google, Yahoo, Facebook have been collecting this metadata ever since their inception. So why is it such a, a problem if they're used to fight terrorism? Well, some of this data is being collected, uh, but it's not all collated together in the one place and made available to the government so that at the press of a button, they can form a digital picture of what everyone in the country is doing. I mean, let's make no mistake, this is nothing less than a proposal to turn everyone into the country uh, into a suspect. There's a suggestion that somehow this doesn't drill down into the content of what you're doing online, but that just can't be sustained. I mean, what we know about uh, metadata is, for example, if on the Monday you call your doctor, uh, on the Wednesday you get an email from your pathology lab, on the Thursday you Google for nearby pharmacies, on the Friday uh, you get onto Skype to talk to your family and close friends. Um, that paints a picture of what you've been doing that week. That is all metadata. Why should the government have automatic access to all of that when you're not suspected of having committed a crime? Why should the government know that you're looking up a, a, a site for gambling help or where to get help with mental health issues at the early hours of the morning if you're not suspected of having committed a crime? That is what we are talking about here. It is massive overreach. And unfortunately, uh, we've got a Prime Minister and an Attorney General who don't know what they're doing. We have you know, George Brandis. George Brandis is a hopeless minister with a dangerous policy and everyone in this country should be concerned about what the government is intending to do because it is massive overreach. You say that they can collect this data at the press of a button. As I understand it, it's much, much harder than that. And although all the data is there, if intelligence agencies want to home in on a suspect, it actually takes a lot of time, energy, effort to actually paint that picture that you talk about. And they wouldn't do that for frivolous purposes. You'd imagine it would have to be for a serious case. Well, at the moment, it's actually fiendishly easy for the government to access this information. They essentially need to fill out a form. They don't even need to get a warrant at the moment to get some of this. Uh, and there's been over 300,000 requests for this. So it's something the government is doing at the moment. I believe that it should be uh, tighter. The government should have to go and get a warrant before accessing this. And you should have to be suspected of having committed a crime before you do it. But at the moment, um, they can access this data. What the government's proposal is, is to say, now, uh, rather than have to go through the trouble of uh, searching for an individual and worrying whether an individual's committed a crime, let's get that data for everyone in the country. Uh, that is wrong. Uh, it's why the European Union has struck down uh, some of these kind of proposals that have been taking place in Europe because it infringes uh, illegitimately on people's privacy. The intelligence agencies have said this is crucial. David Irvine, for one, the head of ASIO, has said this is absolutely crucial, that they need this information there to do their job. And their job primarily is protecting Australian citizens. Well, people in the intelligence agencies have access to this information already if someone is suspected of having committed a crime. And that's really the test. And that's something that uh, the Attorney General and the Prime Minister have not been able to explain. Why this needs to be extended beyond people who are suspected of having committed a crime uh, to everyone in the country. You had the Prime Minister yesterday saying it's about the websites you visit and where you have been, so to speak. Now, that's your web browsing But, but don't, we, don't right we have to cast the net so wide so that if a suspect does emerge, we can then go back into their history and, and see perhaps who they're networking with, who else they're associating with, and, and shut down any risk before it actually becomes a, a, a reality, a, a, an attack on Australia. Well, the government can do that at the moment anyway, and this is part of the problem. There, there are existing powers that our agencies have, and no case has been made by George Brandis or Tony Abbott that somehow the existing powers that we've got 
uh, aren't working. In fact, they regularly point to other successful prosecutions on the basis of this metadata, which suggests uh, to me that uh, the uh, current laws work and give them adequate power. You've got an Attorney General who cannot even explain um, what this proposal, this far-reaching proposal that's been struck down by the likes of uh, in Europe, you can't even explain what it is. And if I were George Brandis, I'd be having a serious think at the moment about falling on my sword, because he's certainly not an asset for this government and he's certainly not an asset for the Australian people. Are there any safeguards that the government could put in place that would see the Greens support this legislation when it comes to metadata? Well, when it comes to metadata, uh, we, the Greens have been saying for some time, let's put a series of safeguards in place that require uh, anyone in the law enforcement side who thinks there's a need to get someone's metadata to go through the usual process that you do with their mail or with their telephone if you wanted to know more detail, and that is you apply to get a warrant. Uh, and I, I think that's legitimate, and I think most uh, people in this country would think that there should be some safeguards in place before you access metadata. This is going the other way. This is saying not only do we not want to have to get a warrant, but we want to have to treat every Australian citizen as a suspect. We want the ability to spy on everyone know exactly uh, where everyone is at any particular time, if that's what their phone data tells them, know what websites they've visited, or without having made a case for it. So uh, the Greens will be opposing these proposals, and I think uh, George Brandis, you know, I mean, he should have a serious think about his future, because I tell you what, I reckon Tony Abbott is. Adam Bant, thanks for